Audacity 3.4.2 has been released, and I waited to make a new feature video for a couple of days. In this video, I will show you changes specific to version 3.4.2, and some changes in 3.4 in general. There are mainly two reasons that I waited to make this video. The main reason is when Audacity introduced 3.4, it became quite unusable for voice editing due to recording bugs, and some behavioral changes. All those things are supposed to be fixed in 3.4.2, so I waited for a better testing result. Another reason is I was a bit busy making the advanced Audacity course for voice editing. If you already know how to use Audacity, but are not getting proper results with your audio, this course will be a game changer for you. You will learn techniques to clean audio by removing plosives and mouth clicks. You will learn about some advanced EQ techniques. Overall you will learn to use Audacity to its full potential. I have some lectures in the process of making, so I kept the price a bit low. It is already good enough to consume, and I suggest you take this offer at a low price. It will be fully ready in a week. Let's get back to the changes Audacity has made on 3.4.2. Audacity introduces a new feature of clip creation on copy-paste. If you copy-paste audio inside the track, it is now creating clips. It is a new feature introduced in version 3.4.2, but this feature is problematic for voice editing. If you do lots of copy-paste, you have to follow extra steps to join the clips. From the right click, you will get the Join Clips option. It is a completely unnecessary step for longer voice editing. Audacity 3.4.2 has made this optional. From Audacity Preference, you can now choose whether you want the clip creation. It is off by default, but I kept this check to show the demo. Uncheck the Always Paste Audio as New Clips, and you will not get new clips every time you copy-paste. Audacity has introduced this new copy-paste behavior to facilitate music production. But it adds no value to voice editing, and Audacity got requests from people to make it optional. Audacity heard people cry, and things are back to normal as we are used to doing. Version 3.4.2 is a hotfix and introduced no new feature over 3.4 or 3.4.1. But if you compare it with version 3.3, the export interface is completely changed. It had some bugs in 3.4 and is now fixed. The export interface is now compact, and you will set most of the configurations in one place. You can set the sample rate and encoding from this unified export dialog box. Previously metadata had to be set from another window. Audacity 3.4 kept a link of that window here. The new export had some bugs in 3.4, and now fixed in 3.4.2. There are some text changes in the menu from 3.4. For example, you will see a new rescan option in the audio setup button. If your microphone is connected to your computer, but not showing in Audacity, Rescan Audio Devices can solve the issue. Rescan Audio Devices are not a new feature. Audacity already had it in the Transport menu. For easier access to Rescind, they just added the menu in the Audio Setup button. There are two text changes in the Transport options. Overdub is now renamed to hear other tracks during recording. It is better for beginners to understand what it does. The Software Playthrough is now renamed to enable Audible Input Monitoring. It is also called live monitoring. If you want to listen to your recording while talking, you have to enable this option. This bottom area also got some new dropdowns but not related to voice editing. It is for music production. Now the big question is should you update to 3.4.2, or is it safe to upgrade? Well, the answer depends on what you are currently doing. If you are in the middle of a project, complete that first, then upgrade. If you have any critical projects as op3 files, keep a backup before upgrading. It seems Audacity 3.4.2 has no obvious bug, but it is better to be safe than sorry. In short, if you have a running project, then complete that and then upgrade. Otherwise, you can upgrade. If you see something is not working for you, you can always download an older version and install it. In the next part of the video, I want to show you a quick way to make your voice better. It is an amazing Audacity tool I developed with my years of audio editing experience. You will also get some professional EQs with this tool. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare between the original and the improved. I will improve the top track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like Clear Vocal, ESS Reduction, Intelligent Improve, Interview Improve, Podcast Improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the Clear Vocal Improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. 
Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrators. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. From the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each TXT file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after-sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.